How you going guys and girls? Here we've got a VX HSV Club Sport with the old trusty Alice one in it. This is a manual, so a six-speed manual. Um, this one's come in for a stage four package and we're using the 226, 232 camshaft and this one's got 600 pound lift on a 112. Uh, still standard cylinder heads. We do use the pacemaker tri-wire system with the twin trings pretty much from the cat's back. So it goes, comes out of the tri-wires into their cats and then from the cat's string and then twin tree all the way. Still is nice and quiet, not draining the car, so still quite a nice no streetable sort of system. VCM Performance OTR, uh, being the VX model, we do have to use the aluminium one. The plastic version that they do make does have a much larger filter, but unfortunately with this, your VTs and VXs, the AC condenser is in the way, and we, unless you, you know, pretty much brutalise it or rip it out, it's quite hard to fit the plastic one in. So this OTR is still good. Not, not knocking it in any way, but the plastic one is better, it does have more surface area. But perfectly fine for this application. Um, standard throttle body, a lot of people these days are still throwing throttle bodies on these things. Nothing wrong with the factory GN throttle body. The reality of, the reality of it is, is that the, the manifold is the limiting factor. So if you can do the manifold upgrade on these things, which there are people doing them now, that is the single biggest thing you can do to these manifolds. But, Putting a bigger throttle body on them is just a dead set waste of time. So it's a bit of free information there. We'll do a power run, show you how much power it makes, and give you a bit of a sound note at the same time. As you can see, a very healthy 301 kilowatts, 515 newton meters of torque. Yes, the car is on the hub. Yes, it makes more than what it would on a roller. But we're only talking 10 to 15 kilowatts. That's about it. So still a very healthy 290, you know, 288, 290 odd kilowatt on a roller dyno. Um, so either way, doesn't matter what dyno you're on, still good figures. Um, I drum on about this all the time, but the hub dyno is just accurate it's accuracy it's back to back when you want to develop something and get something right you use the hub dyno you want to tune something quickly you use the roller dyno but anyway enough about that so as you can see stage four package pacemaker tri-wire headers high fly cat converters twin three inch cat back system still a very quiet exhaust system so still nice this has the hot dog or the resonator rear muff on the rear um, i'm pretty sure we can get these in a different configuration to make them louder but um, this is quite nice the way it is, so VCM, mathless alloy intake, and then the camshaft is a 226, 232 on a 112, and it's got around 600 there lift. Um, put the, the camshaft is available from our online store, and we are going to be selling this as a package where we can do it as a mail order form where we supply a tune, but we'll update the website over the next, so hopefully over this week anyway. But um, Peak torque is at around 5,000 revs and peak power is at 6,400 revs. So really, really good street cam, super efficient. It's got around 52 to 54 kPa at idle, which is actually really good. Um, the stock engine is around the 40 sort of kPa, so you don't lose much manifold vacuum. And it is really, really efficient on the fuel. Um, it makes really good power with not having to tip a lot of fuel in, which is what we're looking for. We don't want to waste too much fuel with overlap. And this cam really ticks all the boxes. We, we rate this as a 10 out of 10. This is my go-to Alice One camshaft, and it will be for quite some time. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to beat this cam. So if you're looking for 
the best best streetable cam to suit your manual LS, this is the cam of choice. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget, click the bell. I'm not sure whether it's on the left anymore or on the right, but it's somewhere on the bottom of the screen. And uh, check out our social media platforms, Snapchat, um, Instagram and Facebook and so on. Thanks for watching again. Bye.